So now that you have the pie wedge, I'm going to deliberately make sure I can see my guides. And here's the trick. I'm going to take this pie wedge and I'm going to copy it. And there's two ways to do this. The hard way is to grab the layer like this. It's not that hard. Go to layer, duplicate layer. And if I do that, you can see it's going to pop up with this layer three copy. I'm going to say OK. And I have a copy of layer three. So if I grab this and bring this up, there it is. OK, not hard to do. Um, another way to do this, by the way, I'll, I'll show you in the next next portion around this. But what I'm going to want to do is take this and I'm going to flip it. So um, to flip, if you go to edit, transform and say flip horizontal. OK, flip horizontal and you get this. All right. And then I'm going to rotate it. And I'm not going to just rotate it any amount. I'm going to hold down the shift key when I rotate because when you hold down the shift key, it gives you um, rotations of, I think it's 15 degrees each. It, without that, it just kind of free rotates, which in this case you don't want. So again, make sure that when you rotate, you hold down the shift key, get that rotation tool, and bring this around. And you should see, see it lines up perfectly. And I can move this over and I can use my arrow tools and move this back and forth. But if I hit check, it looks pretty cool. And of course, you can see I can adjust it if it looks a little off. That looks pretty good. <coughs> okay, so now what I'm, and I actually like the way that looks overall. So what I'm going to do is keep using this. So I'll grab this layer again. So I'm going to grab layer three copy. This is how you duplicate the layer another way. You just drag it down to this little button. And there it is. Okay. So again, it's a really repetitive. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Go to a corner, go a little bit past the corner until you get the rotation mark. Hold down the shift key. Rotate this until it lines up with what you have. Make sure you're holding down the shift key. Hit the checkbox. And then again, you're going to very carefully move your pie wedge using the arrow keys into place. Okay, let me do that again. Copy, edit, transform, flip horizontal. Okay, uh, this one's easy. Looks like it just popped into place. I didn't have to do anything. Hey, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm halfway done. That's looking pretty cool so far. Um, so you get the idea. So I'll just finish this up really quickly. Move it over, edit, transform, flip horizontal. Hold down the shift key and get that in place and then move it to where it belongs. Use the arrow keys if you need to. Check. Okay. I think you get the idea and you can obviously see the pattern clearly emerging. And the idea is it's not supposed to look like the image anymore. It's supposed to look like something else. But again, the more asymmetrical this is, the more interesting it's going to turn out um, once you get this done. Um, so um, I'm going to let you finish yours up, but that's the goal is to get all these pie wedges done the same way. So it's, it's very repetitive um, and um, it's going to come out with some great results when you're all set with it.